Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. The Mustache Man is here back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, don't forget to hit the sub and like button if you enjoyed the content to show your support to the channel and make sure to enable the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified when we release a new video or when we go live with a live stream. So guys, today we're going to talk about my boy Molten Man, my favorite character from the new characters in the Far From Home update. By far best skill animation in my opinion and best damage in my personal opinion. So far we did the test in pretty much all game modes except Alliance Battle Extreme when we get the next combat super villain day guys. Uh, which is Thursday uh, we're gonna be testing him in Alliance Battle Extreme 2 we're gonna make a separate video for that and I think this guy can actually reach at least a million on Alliance Battle Extreme day in my personal opinion with a regular obelisk but I could be mistaken we're gonna have to see when we actually guess, get to test him but overall guys he is my favorite character from this update now we're gonna take a quick look at him guys uh, the build and everything then we're gonna jump in the gameplay section where uh, he's easily handling Proxima 40 uh, then story mode autoplay then the most disappointing of all of it PvP we got immunity to Garbrandt on this guy Evento in PvP the AI play him like one of the worst AI play in, the, in this game guys uh, first the AI put is uh, immunity to all damage skill priority as the last priority on the skill so he never actually used his immunity to guard uh, his immunity to all damage or invincible I'm not sure which one it is uh, let's see uh, the third skill here it's actually uh, oh yeah it's from the tier 2 passive here immunity to all damage here uh, so it does not uh, it's not getting used against in PvP sadly on AI play that was really really disappointing but not only that is that even with immunity to guard break on this guy he can get guard broken you know his iframe cancel by characters without immunity to guard break he was facing was with did not, did not have immunity to guard break and he got guard broken on I think two or three skills that was really 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 disappointing I think that uh, it could be so much better if the AI actually knew how to play if if he was impossible to get guard broken when you have immunity to guard break obelisk on him too that would be pretty awesome so uh, PvP wise he was a massive disappointment for me Obviously, Alien Conquest is a whole different story than Timeline Battle, so uh, if people actually have tested it in Alien Conquest, please let me know your feedback on this guy. will be much appreciated for everybody watching this video. But overall, uh, in my opinion, he is a really major disappointment in PvP, but a goddamn PvE monster for a free-to-play character. He is very, very strong. You can do shallow land 70 plus without any problems with get with this guy. Uh, Wall boss ultimate 40 plus Proxima, uh, Carver's Glaze without too much problem. In Alliance Battle Extreme, well, you guarantee he's going to be able to cover a uh, male combat. And um, I don't know if you can use uh, super villain on male combat. I'm not sure, but whatever. Combat super villain at least in Lance Battle Extreme to get your minimum score and get we gotta see if he can actually do more than the minimum score in a few days too. So overall guys this guy is a good PvE character, is a very good free to play character. I think I could even put him in the top 10 uh, free to play characters in my opinion guys because uh, he is very 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 strong. So next guys we're going to take a quick look at his build so you guys have a, cool, a little idea of what we're running with then we're going to jump in the gameplay section which will be in order wall boss ultimate story mode and auto play then getting an ass kick in pvp so here let's take a quick look here we have him at rank 20 just because you know the free removal of your hero right now is just awesome to test characters we can put them on every characters uh but mythic hero on every characters and then just remove them after that so it's pretty awesome so we did that uh for those review athletes so 
the stats we have max cooldown, maxing our defense, 182% critical damage, 40% critical rate, 124% attack speed, and he's actually physical attack base. I know it's surprising that a fire character is actually physical attack, but it happens sometimes, like a Ghost Panther is the same way. So we have 18,256 physical attack here. If we look at his abilities here, we have increased damage dealt to superhero type characters by 4%, 5% increase of all defense, and increased fire damage by 3%, and fire resist by 10%. Uh, so that is his stats guys, if we look at his uh, gear you can see gear 20 with a mix of critical damage, critical rate and energy uh, and physical attack guru. Uh, he's also we're running with a basic uh, set bonus stage 6 and effects power of angry Og. If I actually had an awaken his set to with my crown build I could actually probably push uh, Proximug close to stage 50. He's very very strong guys to be honest. And that's with a normal custom gear. So here, uh, the stats we're getting here is all attack, all defense, critical rate 8.5%, attack speed 7.7%, ignore defense 8.1%, attack speed and rate 12% chance when attacking, plus 20% increase of all attack for 20 seconds with a cooldown time of 60 seconds. Custom gear, we talk about it. Nothing very optimal, but a good mix. I Really, I thought that this was going to be a good mix for him to be usable in both PvP and PvE and was totally wrong apparently. Still make him use less in PvP in my opinion. But anyway, we got Garbra Community, we got 160% damage proc and we got fire damage. So a very good obelisk for him, even though that the Garbra Community uh, doesn't really help him apparently in... Uh, in PvP, well, it's still very nice to add that for when you're facing a Shadow and a Wall Blast Ultimate, so you don't get your skill cancel as much as uh, most cases, uh, and when you don't have it. So it's very great to add that. Uh, damage is a pretty solid with this Obelisk. If we did add a CTP of Destruction or something like that, this guy will be a total a PvE monster. Uh, trust me. Uh, 50 plus Proxima will actually be something he could get done without too much problem. Uh, if we look at the, the skills, I think we're up to the skills, right? Yeah, the skills. So, the skills, uh, you have three skills you're gonna worry about. That is it. At least in PvE, because there's three skills in the rotation, after that is Kite, so you don't get damage. First skills get, you're gonna use is a third skill. You actually wanna move away from the target. Use that third skill so it doesn't actually trigger your proc and you get your, uh, you know, your 45% increase of uh, all attack and you super armor while well, super armor actually replaces immunity to guard break if you don't, uh, <laughs> if you don't add immunity to guard break. But like I said, I put that immunity to guard break because thinking that it will be useful in PvP to be honest. Uh, so that's super armor here, last 7 seconds with a cooldown time 10 seconds. You have that for that all attack for 45 seconds for um, 10 seconds, so the whole duration of the, the cooldown on this skill. And this is a, a huge boost to your characters, obviously. And you, cannot, you don't need a target to use that skill. That's what is amazing with that skill. You can run 10 million miles away from your target, use that skill, then go back to your target. Now, when you go back to your target for the rest of the rotation, you're gonna use the fourth skill and you can cancel that skill right away. You can cancel it and it will still do the damage it needs to be done with that skill. So you're gonna cancel that skill right away into the fifth skill. We're gonna have your proc on that skill. You want your damage proc on that skill. This is a monster skill and also you're gonna get increased all attack by 30% for a whole duration of that skill and the critical rate increase by 30%. So basically with this skill that pretty much tells you also that your cap critical rate on this guy is actually 45%. Anything over 45% is a waste because of that skill. So it's simple guys. Move away from the targets, use that third skill for the buff and the immunity to all damage at tier 2. Uh, then use your fourth skill next to the target and cancel it right away with the fifth skill and boom, monster damage and then just kite after that. Uh, well, at least in Wall Blast Ultimate, in Shadowland you can use that second skills, it does 3 second stun, you can use that first skills, it does a 1 second stun, you know, it's quite useful there to use that to get more crowd control, but in Wall Blast Ultimate you just forget about 
skill number one and two because they won't help you at all. They will put you in danger. They will make you take more damage than you're supposed to. And uh, by not kiting, and since the cooldown on that fifth skill is actually nine seconds with max skill cooldown, uh, if you don't kite, you will not be able to sink your damage proc. So the kiting is very, very, very important for that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, with its skills guys, we take a quick look at the rest of his skills, his leadership is trash, 45% increase of all defense with ignore defense cap on most characters uh, in PvP, that makes this pretty useless, his tier 1 passive is actually, it's okay, if you actually take this guy to face fire damage characters, it could actually uh, do pretty good in Island Conquest, at, I guess, but again, that depends if he's gonna use the proper skill, which he doesn't really use, which is really disappointing here. But he has the potential to be good against fire damage character. And this tier 2 passive, we take a quick look at it earlier, but um, it's just the decrease all damage received by 25% and activation rate. When skill level flow is used, applied to self, 100% chance for immunity to all damage for 5 seconds. That's pretty much it. Uh, the only one thing I forgot to mention here in that skill rotation is the third skill. The third skill, you need to make sure you do not cancel that skill. When you use that third skill, you need to wait till uh, the size of your characters actually grow. That when it means that he's getting his damage buff. So you gotta wait for that. Then after that, you can if the buff's getting close to you or you're gonna cancel, you can cancel at that point. But do not cancel before that, or you will not get your 45% increase off all attack pretty much. So that's the rotation with this guy. That's the build we're running with, guys. Next, we're gonna jump in the gameplay with, uh, like I said earlier, we're gonna start with Wall Boss Ultimate Proxima 40. Uh, then we're gonna go story mode 13 1 to see him in action on autoplay. Then we're gonna watch him getting owned by timeline battle really damn easy. Which is, and you're gonna see, pay attention, pay close attention, guys. When he actually uses his fifth skill against uh, Wasp, he actually get canceled. His fifth skills get canceled when he does add guard break to him in the end. Wasp does not have any skills to remove that guard break immunity and that was did not even have immunity to guard break so that was kind of shitty that was very shitty that he got his iphone cancel on the fifth skill but anyway guys you're gonna see it when we jump into it also one little thing uh, that I could add here you gotta be careful with that fifth skill which is why we use the third skill before you use the rotation four cancel five it's because uh, that fifth skill at the start of the fifth skill you are not in iframe it takes like a seconds about one seconds before you jump in iframe so if you do not have that defense that immunity to all damage up when you actually start your fifth skill there's a chance that proxima will actually one shot you so you have to be very careful with that and i guess that might be why too that this fifth skill can actually be canceled since you're not directly in iframe and if when that one seconds that you start the skill somebody does an iframe it's gonna cancel i guess that will be the reason why that happened in that timeline battle anyway guys let's jump to the gameplay section let's stop talking so you guys can see this guy in action so guys don't forget to hit the sub and like button if you enjoy the content to show support to the channel and hopefully you enjoyed this video guys so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you
You say I make you nervous, a tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster, a reckoning, you wonder how I got this way. You think I'm someone to be saved, someone to clean up and tame, oh, some things never change, never change, oh. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars, but it always ends the same. Can't bear the things I've had to face. Got you crying on your knees in pain. Oh, some things never change, never change. Oh, you break your back to make me feel it. Stopped asking for forgiveness Cause you should know Only fools dread with the angels Fear to go But you keep trying to get too close Save myself by turning into stone So save your judgment Cause you just don't know But some things never change Never change Oh They say I should feel guilty And change my ways 